gets killed. And uh, yeah, level seven dread lord. <laughs> um, it was all looking great for human until the fire lord shows. Uh, until the dread lord shows up with the two statues, and statues get turned into get turned into destroyers, and they, you can kiss your uh, lava spawns and water until you die. Yeah, <laughs> and the human player says oh, that's what I get for trying to be cute. And here we go. Human's gonna almost lose his uh, eleven o'clock expansion. Just watch. Here comes the inferno. It's gonna tank all the damage from everything. Of course, Inferno cannot be Infernos cannot be dispelled. I just looked it up. You looked that up. I don't think so. Yeah, I'm pretty sure Infernos cannot be dispelled uh, because they resist resist skin resistance skin. Uh, it's, a, it's an ability that uh, gets you away from dispel. Of course, the spirits of vengeance can be dispelled because they don't they do not have resistance skin. That's the difference between spirits of vengeance and our tower of vengeance. They don't have resistance skin, therefore they can be dispelled. Now anyway, this all all of these freaking peasants are gonna get killed, and the dreadlord is about to hit level eight, which means we're gonna see level uh, level three, level one um, carrier swarm. Um, Paladin's being hired uh, as a third hero for human, and I think the human has completely abandoned the the fire the fire lord option. <laughs> completely no, the fire lord option has no uh, no. Um, uh, fire lord has no uh, business doing the human versus undead. Uh, play and oh here comes fire lord fire lord's not even brought to the battle and fire lord's chilling here and uh human at this point human has massed a bunch of um flying machines now he's getting a flank kind of upgrade of um so uh flat flat can upgrade i always call it a f uh flank cannon but a flat can upgrade whatever um and this expansion almost gets lost until these flying machine shows up to rescue the this expansion and uh, and uh, wait, I think the human wait for this inter inferno to to uh, run out, and then flying machine is gonna hide over because uh, for those of you who don't know, infernos uh, is able to hit air as a uh, they do melee damage versus air, and they do exact same damage uh, versus air like as a, as ground as air. So uh, yeah, for those of you who don't know, never ever head your flying machines over to inferno because inferno is gonna rape your flying machines into pieces. By itself, <laughs> doesn't matter how many flying fly machines you have. Infernals are going to get these flying machines down in a hurry. Of course, your um, infernals uh, uh, emulation will not work on flying units, but still, uh, infernals um, infernals of uh, KL damage, KL damage, and the uh, attack rate is going to be a uh, very big. Looks like some peasants try to set up some towers, but they are caught by a bunch of by two abominations, a bunch of ghouls. So they are going. They are going. So that that's not going anywhere. And some lava swamp actually gets absorbed absorbed magic or devour magic. Um, so the so pretty much at this point the at this point the uh, fire lord is useless because the lava spawns aren't going to be effective versus versus all these destroyers and um, and the and and the AMs what I'm told will be completely useless as well. I would personally pick up a tomary training on the on the fire lord. Pick up a soul Soul burn, um, whatever the name of that ability, and uh, of course, what's the uh, incinerate? Uh, incinerate is a really good ability. It's very underrated, and uh, I don't think a lot of people uses it. Besides Moon, <laughs> Moon uses everything. That's why he's called Fifth Race. But um, 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 incinerate is actually a really underrated ability. Uh, a lot of people think. A lot of people think actually. Um, um, what do you call black arrows or even cold arrows are better than incinerate? I just think incinerate is a better ability than anything else. Looks like uh, this no no incinerate on the fire lord still, so fire lord is still hang on to the soul burn and um, a lava spawn here. This this abomination is gonna get killed, and the fly machine gonna get, give these destroyers a chase, and the destroyers have no business fly, fighting against these fly machines without any fiends support. Yeah. Yeah, these destroyers are gonna drop, and they need to retreat. Three destroyers left. I think I think our Sheen had five to begin with, and now he has three left. I'll hurry up this replay to 3x speed because nothing's going on. I'm gonna hurry up to this uh, last battle here. It's kind of funny. Uh, the last battle, I think, is gonna you guys are gonna be really surprised. Um, this is not a pro game, of course. This is on play on battle.net, and uh, don't ask me where I got this replay. It's kind of funny. Uh, it's got a funny location where I pick the replay up. Some uh, gargoyles try to counter the flying machines. Uh, that's a nice idea. 
and uh, this Yilamakar expansion lab was allowed to live and repaired. And uh, here we go. We're gonna see a one, probably a one final battle. Uh, humans actually try to creep this uh, seven o'clock. You know, he's expansion again. He seized up. He lost all of his towers. Only three of them, but still uh, three three towers. Uh, Dreadlord hits him with nine. <laughs> so level three carrier swarm. He has six hundred mana. So Dreadlord can cast about um, uh, three, for not three, six or seven uh, carrier swarms because of mana region. And of course, the uh, sleep can be really effective. At level three can put you can put a unit to sleep, and he's not going to be awakened until until you attack it. Uh, here comes a human try to rescue this expansion. I think the human's going to arrive on time. And there's a there's here's the inferno, and just watch his fire machines go down one by one here. Well, actually, if the inferno do um, yeah, if the inferno do melee damage versus uh versus fire machines. And uh, when destroyers have mana, they're gonna rip fly machines apart. Watch, we, these destroyers all have mana. So, um, and be just because the lava spawns feeding destroyers mana and, and hit points, <laughs> because uh, you one, every time you uh, uh, devour magic, every time you devour magic, it gives you 50 uh, HP and 75 mana. And uh, yeah, and th there's a lot of freaking uh, summon units and cast level 10 dreadlord. I thank you very much. That's GG right there by itself. I think level 10 Dreadlord is a very underrated hero, just because of Vampiric Aura and the and the able ability, the Inferno and Sleep ability can be devastating versus anybody. And the AM's actually try to run. AM is gonna have to run with the staff. I don't know what he staffed or anything. Uh, AM's actually will escape with a very minimal HP. Um, Abomination gets killed, so uh, hits the uh, paladin until level four. It's very effective, but the uh, AM's actually level five AM. That's uh, it's a significant hero. Of course, you, if you don't have a main anymore, you don't. Neither player has a has their main gold mine, and, but the undead player actually is had one base ahead of the human player. Here's a sleep. Uh, actually, the dreadlord actually caught up caught up with the uh, AM. So AM went down from carrier swarm. And the Dreadlord is going to be the next. The Dreadlord is stupid enough to come over and try to rescue the AM with the with the Portrait Nest and vulnerability. And look, watch the Dreadlord. His HP never falls be, be, uh, below 800 because of the Vampiric Aura. <laughs> it goes the it goes the Fire Lord. And where's our Paladin? We need it. Paladin's getting put down to put to sleep. And the Paladin's going to have to run. Um, yeah, another sleep is going to kill this Paladin. I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty I'm pretty sure. Unless the Paladin pop the Divine Shield or whatever you call it. And um, Spellbreaker gets focused down first. Uh, where where is where's it going? Okay, so notice the, the HP on this Dreadlord never goes below 800. <laughs> Just because I'm from Paragor and the strength strength region, and of course the the uh, potions that he has. Um, I don't think he popped a potion ever in this game. He he purchased a potion but never popped it. And uh, yeah, <laughs> the human TG. Um, hope you guys enjoyed this game, and I uh, certainly hope you guys stop. Whining about this imbalanced matchup between not elf, uh, not elf, human and undead, and uh, I hope you guys, I hope I showed you how to use Dreadlord uh, versus human in this replay, and uh, stay tuned for more.